Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nukem Dukem here and welcome to Game of Thrones, a Telltale series walkthrough. I know you're all excited about this because I sure am. Hang on, let me turn on my webcam. Uh, I'm live stream right now on Twitch, so if you want to see a face cam version, uh, check in the description link below or uh, watch me live on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, you're most likely watching a previous live stream recording on Twitch. Uh, if you are seeing on YouTube and you miss my Twitch stream, if you could do me a, hit, a favor and hit that like button, that little thumbs up in the bottom corner of the screen, I appreciate the love and support. And if you guys want to go above beyond and be amazing, feel free to share this on Facebook and Twitter or text your friends or something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, uh, get started. I already went ahead and did all the settings. Subtitles on so you don't miss a single beat. Uh, I am covering an alternative playthrough this version, uh, so you can see all the alternative choices. And I'll also uh, show you every single choice and every single outcome in this series. So be sure in the description link below or just check out, check out the playlist and everything will be there for you so you don't miss a single thing and you don't have to keep replaying over and over and over because I am going to do that for you. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Don't worry, I won't talk over cutscenes and uh, dialogues. So, uh, what I read from most reviews is that uh, uh, this is made for uh, Game of Thrones fans. That uh, if you don't haven't ever seen Game of Thrones uh, or read about it, um, you might be a little bit lost. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I also read somewhere this takes after the third season of Game of Thrones. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. That, that I'm just brainstorming uh, uh, what I, I, I think I read. So this is Tyrion Lannister, one of the most beloved characters on Game of Thrones. So let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, so excited, so excited. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. For thousands of years, House For Forrester have been loyal bannermen to the House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to the Forrester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of the House of Forrester hangs in the balance. Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Alright, let's go ahead and clean it. Pick it up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's well, only blood. It's only blood? Alright, might. Go ahead and hold this down. Let's give it a nice little rub right there. There we go. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Silence is a Next valid option. Tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Ah, <laughs> oh, being a squire. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. 
Nurin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup, the night we celebrate. Oh, there's our banner, House of Forster. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Death to the, the Lannisters! The North remembers. Aye. The North remembers! Aye. Winter's coming. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, well, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. What? Something with me, my done. lord? With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I want to fight! I fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. I won't let you your down. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. <laughs> I am moving up in the world already. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? I'm no longer a squire. Can I get up to you? Uh, I'll do it for a friend. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. I'm no longer a squire. How dare you talk to me like that? Scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own line for once. He's a drunk. A liar and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who but doesn't love bacon? Much. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> Pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. It's the lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Not me. What? Tomorrow I ride with Roderick and Lord Forrester. Sir Gerard the fucking Great. Unbelievable. Maybe if my uncle were castle in, I'd be getting promoted too. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. He's got Lord Forrester's ear, doesn't he? I'm sure it didn't hurt. How much further? It's right over there. Ooh, House of Frey. Hang on, let me fix something real quick. I'm hearing like heavy static on my earphones and it's driving me crazy. Uh, fix some stuff real quick.
Thanks for being patient, those of you that are patient. Uh, in the meantime, you guys can do me a favor and break that like button. I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me and uh, following me on Twitch. Right, hang on. Why is there so much static in my ears? It's like breaking my eardrums right now. Last, uh, and this is live stream, so I can't edit this stuff. So if you're crying, like, sh cut this stuff out. I can't. So, light patience is a great virtue. Hey Jess, uh, just only time them out if it's spoilers related to this particular game, not any game. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh my goodness. Okay, documents. I'm good. Thanks for being patient, guys. Let's keep going. Don't forget Take to follow me on Twitch. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Oh my god, is this the red wedding? <laughs> Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. Oh, jeez. Forward. Oh my god, this is a red wedding. Oh, Q, Q, Q. <laughs> Here we go. And then E after this. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Kick him! to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon, quickly! Pick it up! My lord. That never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to <gasps> <don't> <sighs> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. There's no time to waste. <clears throat> I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Well, the phrase says you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. He's not going to remember this if he's going to die. Uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> we love the whole <laughs> Well, he won't remember that anymore, so <laughs> I don't have to hold my word. Jeez. <laughs> Welcome to Game of Thrones, ladies and gentlemen. Do -do 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 -do. Dude, hit that like button for uh, that entrance. Gotta love the Game of Thrones entrance in the song. This is episode one, Iron from Ice. One second, let me make this full screen. Uh, the poor people on Twitch here, they, they don't get to see this full screen. Let me fix that for them. Follow me on Twitch. Do you see all those new followers that have been popping on screen? Those are the lovely people on Twitch. And the chat is so much more friendly and moderated. For, so there's no spoilers. 
and there's not little immature people in uh, YouTube chat. Okay, let's go ahead and let me see something real quick. Uh, yes, I will be covering all choices so you won't miss a single beat and I'll do an alternate playthrough. Okay, oops, can I resume the game or did it disappear? Uh oh, what happened? Jeez, what happened? It's weird. Maybe I can't do full screen. It was working earlier, right? Okay, let's try this again. No, okay. Fine. It's okay. It's okay, you guys. You guys will be fine. Yeah. Use ASD. Oh, now we can actually move. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like we're not walking this way. We'll just keep walking down this way. Uh oh. Smoke. little carriage over here. Let's check this out. See if there's anything. Doubt it. Let's look at the cart and then we'll touch the cart. That's father's car. Give us fucking titles for this. Uh oh, gotta sneak here. Uh, be careful. Careful. Oh, poor piggy! He's gonna get all the chickens! He's gonna require a lot of chicken for the beast. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. Mm. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Ooh. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Hang in there, pups. I'll have that sword, boy. No, fight. Come, Come get, get it. it, you bastard. Alright, strike him. Uh, Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, dude, I'm gonna lose this sword. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Pitchfork. Oh, hatchet. They are a pig farmer. All right, hatchet. Oh gosh. Taking my sword back now. Oh. Took a knife to the thighs, dude. Oh. 
Do Nancy, it. Please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. Alright, if you want to see him show you. mercy, check the alternate playthrough or the description link. No, please. You didn't show oh, mercy to my house. Hang for this. That much I promise. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. See, they killed my sister, so I kill him. Even trade. Even Steven. Please hit that like button if you like that choice. If you did not like choice, hit the like button because in the description link below, you will see show him mercy option. <coughs> Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh. Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh god. I'm gonna press this. At least it's not an arrow to a knee. Or... Oh god! <laughs> that's really open. Oh, maggots. Oh, that's how we do in the old days. Thank you, maester. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. I love how I haven't seen you forever, Shannon, and the first thing you say is like, it's <laughs> complaining a bit. <laughs> that you have it. You can't Hold get it working. Me, will you? All right, here we go. More maggots. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. 
to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, not when maggots are eating my dead tissue. Oh, I'll be fine. Ready Go to on. do combat. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Ah, uh, this is now my chair. I am now a lord and no longer a squire. Ooh, a window. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, the dear lord used to sit here. The north will remember this and winter is coming. The Ironwood Grove. All right. We can't go this way anymore. Uh, s lower your quality, Shannon. <laughs> oh my goodness. And hi to you. It's good seeing you. <laughs> oh, let's look at the tapestry. We'll look at it, and then we'll touch it. Oh wow. You can look at Asha. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Am I a bastard? Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. I have a feeling we're gonna learn more about Forrester in the menu codex specs. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I I'm fine, Maestro Tengrin. Look, I'll show you. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna play with all of those characters that we just named off. So here is some lore behind it. Pause it and read it. Enjoy the lore behind it because Game of Thrones is heavy on lore. <laughs> I look like I'm 16, 17. That's good. That makes me 10 years younger. I have a 10 years younger look to myself. Lady Forster. Forrester. Ah, Roderick, the firstborn son to lead the north. Asher, the second son. I think I'm gonna like Asher. He just looks like a badass with this little uh, hatchet right there. And Mira Forster. This kind of uh, reminds me of uh, Sansa. <laughs> looks like a Sansa look to me. And then Ethan, third born son. Ah, this reminds me. Oh man, what's that little girl's name? It's kind of like tomboyish. Who's with the. Oh my gosh. Oh man, she's so badass. What's her name? The one who has Needle. I, I can't believe it. Man, this is what happens you don't see Game of Thrones for over a year, man. This is what happens you wait. Okay, then Ron. Right on. Okay, and then here's me. I'm a Tolly. <laughs> oh yeah, Arya. The girl was Arya. That's right. And then Duncan. Yeah, Arya Stark. I remember, and here's the Maester, Maester Ortega. I can't even say that. You're not Maester Lewin. Okay, Malkin Branford, uh, Branfield, Lady Forster's brother. Oh my gosh. Then Iron Wrath. Uh, reboot your computer, Sh Shanny. <laughs> Anyways, uh, feel free hate that like button. Thanks for the follow. Yes, hit that like button and share this on Facebook and. Twitter. Alright, let us continue with the game. Enough of this wait. I grow weary of talk. And reading. I can't read. That's why I need a little girl with scales on her face to talk to me. 
Alright. Maester. Is there anything else around here that I should look at? Ooh, what's this way? Can I go? Nope, can't go that way. Yeah, I saw the new uh, Star Wars trailer. It looks really good. I like it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and show the sword to him. I'm just going to call you Ort. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Hmm. 50 generation of Forsters. 